हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन नाउ वी विल लर्न अ न्यू लेसन फ्रॉम सी बी सी क्लास नाइन इंग्लिश द नीम ऑफ लेसन इज इन द किंगडम ऑफ फूल्स दिस लेसन हैज बीन रिटर्न बाय ए के रामानुजन दिस इज अ एक्चुअल अ फोक टेल इन कन्नडा लैंग्वेज This folk tale is still being told to children in Kannada language, and this tale have been adopted in our curriculum of class nine CBC. Let's know something about the author in the beginning of the lesson. The author A K Ramanujan. was born on 16 march 1929 in mysore and he died on 13 july 1993 in uk his full name is atape krishna swami ramanujan ak ramanujan he have been awarded with padma shri and sahitya academy award for english writer so let's know something about the his lesson as a introduction in the kingdom of fools this story has been adopted from kannada language it was a regional language mainly spoken in the state of karnataka and this kannada folk tale has generation to generation the story told to people an existing one so ak ramanujan is very much famous with this story in the kingdom of fools and here in this story we come to know about a kingdom where the king and his ministers are foolish and they want to rule govern the kingdom in their own way so in this lesson we will come across some difficult words let's try to know them first word is foolish the people who are not intelligent then here till till means the cultivate cultivation of the farm and guru means sant amazed shocked or surprised duddu duddu is a currency in karnataka resembling to the rupee in other words duddu is a nothing but a rupee in kannada traditional language so pursuing means following someone to call upon someone stay a pole or post with a sharp pointed end used to spear through the something it means as if jesus christ was pierced by tying him at the pole execution an official killing of someone as a order of king so this present story deals with one theme that the foolish people can be very difficult to manage they can be dealt with only by the wise and calm people only so in this story there are some major characters these characters will be seen here first pair is guru and his disciple they have arrived in the kingdom of fools where the king and his ministers were ruling and governing so guru disciples the king and his ministers as they were foolish in this story there is a major incident take place where a thief is died the first character is thief and the thief died in the house of merchant so merchant is another character and merchant's house was built by the brick layer so brick brick layer is also one more character but brick layer was distracted from a dancing girl while she was walking on the road but 
Why was she was walking on the road? Because Glo Goldsmith made her to walk. So thereby, uh, there is a long uh, queue of the characters are found in the story. And finally, the rich man whose son is merchant. This is how the cycle of characters, the circle of characters are existing here. So, thief, merchant, bricklayer, dancing girl, and goldsmith, and the rich man, the father of merchant. These are the characters along with the guru and disciple and king and ministers. So, let's try to know the whole test in a deepest explanation. So, in this story, uh, we have one thing that the foolish king and his ministers wanted to uh, introduce two major rules. The first rule is the all the activities of day to be performed in during the night time and all the activities of day to be performed, especially the sleeping and resting to be performed during the daytime. And everything should be sold for a single uh, currency that is Duddu. These were the strange rule introduced by the uh, king and his minister and which caused to ruin the kingdom of Polish people. So let's see from beginning. Once there was a kingdom of Poles which was governed, ruled by an idiot king and his stupid minister. In the picture you can see a king is talking with the, his minister and discussing about the rules. Since they were Polish, they ordered the their people to work during the night and sleep during the day. It was observed if anybody disobeyed, he or she would be surely killed or punished. So in that kingdom, what happens? The two strange people arrived in the form of guru and disciple. One day, a guru and his disciple arrived in the kingdom and found the city empty. However, as the evening approached, the city became full of activities. They went to a shop to buy some food and were amazed, surprised to find that the cost of everything was the same. It is a to do. They bought so much food and just paid one rupee. It was really surprising for them. The Guru understood and concluded that the city was full of fools, stupid people. So he suggested his disciple, follower, that these people are dangerous. So we should leave it immediately. But the disciple wanted to stay there and enjoy eating in a cheap price food. But the Guru was determined, sure to leave and he warned his disciple, be aware as he could be in trouble. The disciple continued to enjoy the, his stay in the kingdom of fools. Soon he grew fat. One day, a curious incident happened at the kingdom of fools. A thief broke into a rich merchant's house and as he was sneaking out, as he was entering uh, in the house with the blunder through the hole, the whole wall was collapsed and he died there. And the brother of thief went to king, approached to king and asked the justice, demanded for justice before the king and the king accused the merchant, the owner of the house, getting poor quality wall built and that killed the brother of this, this man. So the foolish king assured the king's brother of proper justice and he sent for the merchant and declared that he would be punished. The merchant pleaded, the merchant requested to the king that he was not guilty as he had not built the wall. So the bricklayer who had built the wall many years before had been caught. The bricklayer arrived. Now he was an old man 
and the bricklayer pleaded requested to the king it was not his fault his it was not his mistake as he had been distracted and deviated from his work by a dancing girl who kept coming and going with his anklet anklet jingling the dancing girl was called she had become quite old now she pleaded she was moving up and down because the goldsmith the jeweler was making her come and go because he had ordered her jewelry to the goldsmith but he was not paying he was always postponing he was also postponing his work and he was delaying making some jewelry for her so the goldsmith was called and he again uh, blamed on to the same thing and goldsmith told that it is not my fault fault is also leading from me to further because i was compelled i was forced by the rich man because his rich man's son's marriage was there and i have to prepare i have to make his son's jewelry and therefore i could not uh, give the justice i could not give the jewelry of the dancing girl in a time so the merchant again was called and the rich man was none but the father of the merchant whose house was damaged and collapsed so the merchant again pleaded that the wall had been built during my father's time and now he is dead the king finally decided to punish the same merchant who had come in the beginning the preparation for executions were made the executions stake a stake means a pole or post on which a victim is put tied with a rope and some uh, sharp weapons are pierced uh, pricked into the his body and made him to die with a painful sight so the execution stake was made but it was found merchant was too thin for the stake they needed someone who could fit the stake in this picture you can see the punishing tool stake stake is nothing but a pole stick or spike a strong wooden or metal post with a point at the end driven into the ground to support something here you can see so it was a search for fat man and fat man fat man was found in the form of the disciple finally a fat man was found the fat man was turned out to be a disciple he said he was innocent he didn't de- he didn't do anything but no one wondered the king's men would not listen to his words and therefore the fat man was caught for execution as a punishment so the disciple then remembered his guru's words and prayed to him for help and uh, disciple said oh oh my savior my guru please come and save me that time he the guru came immediately by knowing with a telepathy or sixth sense and reach in the kingdom of fools and he wanted to help him from the clutch of the king and his ministers he had an idea in his mind and as soon as he came he said something in the ears of the disciples and make a drama then the guru and disciple astonished they didn't understand what was going on and then king compel the guru what's the matter to be disclosed then the guru told i have a secret known to me this is a new brand new stake and it has some rule behind it it has some magic behind it what the one who will die at the stake first will become the king of this kingdom and the second time who will be executed on the same post will be the minister of this kingdom and see here the king and his ministers become jealous greedy and they wanted to become the further king and ministers they didn't they didn't want to lose 
their kingdom for anyone else and they change their plan so what had happened the king needed some time to think the king wanted to be the king of his kingdom the next birth also and he wanted his foolish minister to be his minister in the next birth also so he decided himself and his minister to be executed and he ordered the guru and disciple to be executed by in a darkness but already they have replaced themselves with the guru and disciple and thereby the king and his ministers are executed in the uh, darkness and they died king's men executed the king and minister considering to be the guru and disciple and finally the whole kingdom was rescued from the foolish king and his ministers and they were made prey and the king and his ministers get themselves killed by the stake in the place of guru and disciple the people of the king kingdom after enjoying the freedom beg to the guru and disciple to become their new king and minister the guru agreed on a condition that the kingdom should function normally like other kingdoms did means the same kingdom should be working like a normal means everybody will be working during the day time and everybody rest in a night time and all the prices of the goods will be different not a single to do and with this condition the guru and disciple agreed to rule the kingdom as a king and minister so children hereby we come to at conclusion that uh, we should not have a blind faith on anyone as a king had on the guru due to which he led himself to the uh, mouth of death similarly do not live with the foolish people or fools as someone don't know what the next is or what it will end so children uh, we are happy to conclude with a big message that uh, one should stay away from foolish people or else one is bound to suffer in future in order to tackle the foolish people one should employ the wisdom being wise attitude not a logic so thereby i uh, end my this online learning on the topic in the kingdom of fools thank you